Venus.com and today I'm going to be talking about what not to do before you file your patent application. I just um, yesterday had to tell someone that I could not help them file a patent application because they were barred at this point and so I thought I would just send out a quick video to let people know the three most common actions that um, prevent inventors from being able to protect their inventions um, via patent. So here we go. The first one is to disclose it. So the patent uh, act says that once you disclose it to another party, the time clock starts ticking. You have 12 months from a public disclosure in order to file a patent application. Now, People read that and think that public disclosure means that you have to go on TV or talk about it on social media, but a disclosure to any third party other than, I'd say, an attorney can be considered a public disclosure. So if you make a presentation to your parents or potential investors, that starts your, your, your that, that, um, that grace period ticking. So once you do that, you have 12 months in order to get the application on file. Now, that's in the United States. If you want to file outside the United States, many countries have what we call absolute novelty, which, which means you could not have told anybody about it. It means that you need to get your patent application filed, at least a provisional filing, before you tell any third party about it. So once you have fully developed your invention, which means you know exactly how to make it and exactly how to use it, it's reduced to practice, you then need to get your application on file and then start talking to people about it. Now, I get a lot of calls from people who said, well, we had an NDA. Well, the problem with an NDA is that once that NDA is broken, there's not a lot of recourse. It's really hard to enforce an NDA. Most of them are invalid on their face because there's no consideration given. And with the contract, you have to have some kind of exchange. And so um, they usually just don't stand up in court. And then the damages are very, very speculative. So whenever you have a breach of contract case, which is um, how do you bring a, a non-disclosure agreement case before court, you have to actually show that breach of the agreement was uh, was was a direct cause of the damages. So you actually have to show damages. And a lot of times the damages are speculative because the inventor is going to say, well, had you not disclosed or had you not infringed on my patent then or broke the, the, the NDA, then I, I would have made a million dollars from my patent. And then they're going to say no, because only 5% of patents ever make any money. And so it, it's really speculative. You'll have a real hard time finding an attorney and it's just really not worth it. So don't tell anybody about it and um, don't rely on an NDA. The second one is selling it. Don't sell before you get a patent application. The potential for infringement, if it's a if it's a good product, it's just too great. It's not worth it. And again, the patent act says that once you sell or have an offer for sale, so even offering to sell it, even if no one takes, no one no one buys it from you, just a mere offer is enough to start that tolling of that 12 month statute. And again, in a lot of foreign countries, if you have an offer for sale, then you're completely barred. And in a lot of European countries, there's a six month um, window. So you don't want to offer for sale it, uh, offer to sell it at all before you get that that patent um, on file, and you don't want to publish a paper. So in academia, there is great incentive to publish, 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 publish as quickly as you can. As soon as you figure something out, you want to get that acknowledgement, you want to get that notch on your belt, and so you want to publish it. But again, that twelve month statute. Um, I mean, that, that 12 month grace period is, is started once you make that publication and you essentially are gonna ruin your rights um, outside of the US as well. So avoid telling anybody about it, selling it, publishing it. Just keep it a secret until you can at least get a provisional patent pending application on file. They're relatively cheap. You can do that. And whenever you file your full application, you'll get the benefit of that earlier filing date. And, um, and that's all I have. So just, you know, keep it to yourself until you get to protect it. 
And if you need any help, then you can always reach me at ahajiamos.com. That's A-H-A-J-I-A-M-O-S.com. We offer free intro calls. If you are on the homepage, if you just look at the upper right-hand corner, you'll see a link to schedule a call with me. Thanks. Have a great day.